Hi, um, I'm Asser. I'm a developer advocate in the Android Enterprise team. And today we'll be talking about how to get your app to work at work. And what I mean by work here is actually work profiles. A work profile is just a special user that um, you can set on your phone to separate your work apps from your personal apps. And this is especially useful for companies that allow their employees to bring their own devices and use them to access work stuff. Um, because they can add their own restrictions to those work profiles, they can monitor um, your work activity without touching or even accessing your personal information. Um, apps usually are separate within each profile. You can have your work apps in your work profile and your personal ones in your personal profile, but any app can be installed in both. And in that case, um, even though it's the same app, it would have totally separate storage spaces for both profiles, and they're totally isolated from each other as well. Okay, so why is that relevant to me? I'm not building anything that's targeting a business um, or enterprise world at all. Well, um, a, lot, a, a lot of cases um, that we've seen, there are apps that were not targeting businesses at all and end up running in the work profile as well. Um, cases like uh, productivity apps, uh, time tracking apps, or a simple chat messaging, for example. They might be adopted in a company and used within a work profile. And because of all these restrictions that we talked about uh, and, the sp and the separation between the storage spaces as well, um, we've seen a lot of cases where these apps behave differently than they would in a normal situation as well. So uh, what I'll try to go through a few things today that um, will help you avoid going into these situations as well. Uh, one of the common uh, scenarios that we've seen is handling intents across different profiles. Um, and we'll talk about that in detail. Uh, accessing files that were stored in one profile and trying to load them in another profile as well. And uh, notifications and how notification listener service works within a work profile as well. So handling intents. When an app tries to launch an intent like open a camera or open a URL in a browser, um, Android will try to match that with an, uh, an app to handle that intent within the same profile that it's uh, running in. So um, if, for example, you're running an app in a work profile and the camera is disabled in that profile, even though there's a camera um, that's fully functioning in your personal profile, it won't launch. So you should always assume that uh, whatever intent you're trying to launch will be handled within the profile that you're running. And you should always be aware that sometimes these intent handlers that could always be um, existing in a personal profile might be disabled in a work profile. So um, because you can't tell which are, is disabled and which is not, you should always check if there is an intent handler existing before you actually launch that intent. Let's take an example here. Here we're trying to simply create an intent that sets um, an alarm. Uh, or a countdown timer, and we've passed in the parameters, and we've started the activity. Seems totally fine, but when, because we can always assume that there's going to be an intent handler for this, right? But when we try to run this in a work profile where the alarm is disabled, uh, this will crash. So you should always check if there is an intent handler for this particular intent by calling the resolve activity function. And if uh, it returns anything other than null, then we know that there is a resolver, there is an intent handler. If it returns null, then we should change the workflow somehow and maybe show an error or something. Uh, the other thing is accessing files. So uh, file URIs, which usually um, p developers use to load files, contains the absolute path of the file, right? And if that is stored in a profile that's different than the profile you're running your app in, this file seems as if it doesn't even exist. So what you should use is content URIs. And to create content URIs, you generate a content ID and pass that along with um, the path um, the file path itself. Um, to create a content ID, you use uh, the file provider class dot get URI for file. You pass in the context, the authority provider, and the file URI that you're trying to share. And then this will create a URI for you that you can actually um, share across profiles and grant access for the other profile to load it for you. Um, notifications is also a common thing that we've seen. Um, first of all, a work profile totally ignores any callbacks that come from notification listener service. So if your app is depending on that to listen to notifications and your app is running in a work profile, it won't get any callbacks at all. Um, even more so, if your app is running in a personal profile, it won't get any callbacks for notifications that are triggered within the work profile. So this is just a few uh, to show you like some of the common uh, pitfalls. but. There's more, like accessing SMS and uh, call logs, um, loading contacts from uh, work profiles um, or personal profiles. And there's a very popular chat app that exists today that fails to load any contacts at all in a work profile as well. So um, we've seen this happen a lot. 
Um, I strongly recommend to check out the work um, documentation and developer Android to see a list of all these um, with details and more as well. And then finally, if you want to check if your app is compatible and it runs perfectly fine in a work profile, uh, test DPC, device policy control app, which you can download from the Play Store is a really good place to start. You can download it, it will help you set up a work profile on your phone. You could uh, simulate what a company can actually do by disabling things and uh, playing around with all these configurations and um, see how your app actually behaves. So I recommend that as well. Thanks.